What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm bringing you guys a pretty easy and basic tutorial. This is going to be creating a cartoon text that you guys can see in my thumbnail and as you can see right on my screen. And it's actually really easy to do and it's actually uh, relatively quick and uh, it really gives a cool effect. So uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is releasing a template of this text at 50 likes, which I'm pretty sure you guys can probably break in like the hour it's uploaded or a couple hours it's uploaded. And uh, it's just going to be a really fun tutorial. So uh, I'm going to say I'm sorry for the inactivity lately. I actually have been having a few things go on. But I'm going to try to upload as frequently as possible. And uh, just make sure to stay tuned. So uh, what I'm going to do is just start off on a plain background. I'm using a screen that's 1920 by 1080 And I'm using a blue background. And uh, I'm using the font Grow Bold. This is just a nice cartoon font. Like you see if I type in bear. It's just a nice cartoon font. Uh, most people have this. If not, I will leave a link in the description for it. So what we're going to do is just type in any word and make sure it's all lowercase. So let's just type in, uh, actually type in tutorial. Let's put tutorial with a nice exclamation point. Actually, I'll leave the exclamation point out. So uh, what you want to do with this is just highlight all your text and then go to you right here where the document is. And then see your VA right here. This is pretty much a space between the, light, like the letters. I'm going to make that about negative 30, so everything's kind of touching a little bit, but it's not like into each other. And then you guys can just click out of that. See, there's like a little space between everything. And then the next thing you want to do is go to your text right here and right click and go to blending options and go to gradient overlay. So uh, I already have it done, but what we want to do is click right here on gradient and just go to your first color right here and make sure this is a nice orange. I'm using the uh, color code FF7E00. And uh, if you guys want this color code, I'll leave a link in the description for it. So uh, you just hit OK, and then you can go right here to the yellow or whatever color it is, the next one over the right, and make it a nice like highlighter yellow. Here's the color code too. Both will be in the description. And then you can just click OK and hit OK. So this is pretty much the base inside of our thing. So you guys can change this to any color. I'm just using these because it's a nice uh, comic color. And then put your scale up to 150. If not, then you'll have like a little like line like that, or a, I don't know. This looks kind of weird. So I put it to 150. You guys can pretty much put it to whatever. Maybe, actually, maybe 100 looks nice. Maybe 105. And then make sure the opacity is 100% and everything else is on normal. So well, the first thing you want to do is make out your first border, which is really easy to do. You're going to click on stroke and then go to your size. And uh, your size pretty much is how big it is. Obviously, that's what it's called for. And then there's a position right here. They have outside, inside, and center, which comes from the center. But, um,. We're going to be using the outside one. And then I'm going to throw it on the size of 8. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. And then put the opacity to 100%. So uh, that's pretty much the first border. Next thing you want to do is hop over to the outer glow right here. It's only, Mine's a second from the bottom. And then go to your blending mode and go to normal. And uh, make sure your opacity is on 100%. And then for uh, your technique, you're going to put it to softer. Precise doesn't really look as nice because it has like, the jagged edges. But you can put it on softer and put your spread to anything. Your spread is basically how uh, sharp it is. I'm using mine on usually 17 is what I usually put it on for this. Oh, I keep hitting enter. Every time you hit enter, it literally backs you out, which is not that fun. But um, you can just go back to your outer glow and then you can go to your uh, size right here. And my size is on 18. And it's pretty much how big you want it. Mine is like mine a little smaller. All right, and then you can have your range on one so it's not uh, all blurry. So that's it. So that's the first layer basically. Now you want to do is just duplicate it and then put that arrow up and then right click on your bottom one. So now that you did that, you want to go to your stroke and just click on it again and take your stroke and pretty much just click out more and make it almost the same, like, not same size, but almost like a little more than triple it. So I'm putting mine on 32. Oh, yeah, a little more than triple, maybe like four times the size. Mine was at eight. So yeah, four times the size, 32. And then uh, you pretty much just leave that the same. And then just hit OK. All right, and then you want to do is just hit Control J on that again and hide the arrow. And then just take this and you click on your arrow key right here and go down like, I don't know, a couple times or well, a few times. And then just go down until you feel comfortable and then go across. Like that. All right. And then what you can do is make a new layer on the bottom and then go over here. You can just make like a nice little crisp edge. You don't have to do this, but it's better too. 
So you can just like literally fill these with the black color. So there's one. And if you do this, you cannot change the text. You'd have to redo this. So you guys basically got the idea. You just got to go through these edges. So I'm going to keep mine without it. And then you pretty much got your your thing going on. So the next thing you want to do is actually go back to your top one and then just right click and go to blending options. And then you want to go to bevels and emboss. And uh, basically what this is, it creates little like things, not things, but it creates like a little like indent in the clay looking feature to it. So what you want to do is go to your bottom stuff right here, the shading, and usually yours is like white and black. So you're going to make the first one white and the bottom one black or whatever color you want and just put the bottom one to opacity of zero and put the top one to 100. This is basically making it so this one's the only one that's showing. Because if I put this to let's say black and put 100%, it doesn't look as nice. So you just have the nice little white outline and you can do it the other way around. But I have to redo it then so I'm not going to do that. So you get a nice white thing. So when you go up to here, you want to go to your uh, soften, and you're gonna pretty much want to put this to about two, which kind of makes it a little softer edges, and it doesn't really uh, make it as like defined lines. And then you're gonna go to your size, and basically this is your preference of the size. I usually my, like mine being a little, a little indented, about like eight or so. And then for your depth is how much hard you want it to be. I like mine being around 150, and always make sure your techniques on smooth. And after that, you just hit OK, and uh, you basically got the text done so far. So the next thing you want to do is add a half tone to it, which really creates the cartoon effect and the com comic looking thing. So uh, what you want to do is head over to my Bear 600 pack, or you can even go on Google. So uh, I'm just using my 600 pack since I already have these. I have a whole pack of half tones, and then uh, I'll leave this, leave this in the description. And then you're gonna pretty much just drag it in and go to edit transform and flip 90 degrees counterclockwise which pretty much makes it straight up and there's you see on the top the, like the dots kind of get smaller and they kind of space out you want to put that into like the middle or like the three quarters up top and hit control T and just drag the edge so it's like the same size as that so what you want to do is hit control and you see this T right here on the side you want to pretty much click that and it kind of outlines the text and then hit control J on the half tone layer and then minimize the bottom one so you're just left with the uh, top one. So uh, basically when you guys do this, all you have to do is redo the half tone, but it's already there and uh, just a really nice cool effect. So this is pretty much it. This is just your cartoon comic book effect and it's really nice. It actually looks really cool on some banners and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, 50 likes, I'm releasing the template for this and it's only three layers, but uh, you guys pretty much got this. And uh, I hope I did this pretty quickly. I think I did it under, yeah, under 10 minutes. And it's not that hard to do, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you guys have any tutorial suggestions, please let me know. Also, check out Tutorial Hub in the description, and then on the top right, the little, uh, little annotation. But other than that, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace out.